um, the same or the amount that is uh, being reflected in the financial statements is the same as that of the physical uh, inventory in their warehouse. Okay, and uh, the extent also how much of uh, the evidence should be gathered because as mentioned earlier not all the available information should be used as the evidence there might be something uh, there that is not relevant or reliable to the uh, to the expression of the conclusion and for the decision makers as well okay and lastly uh, we have the written assurance report so this is where the auditor will express his opinion or conclusion okay so either under the reasonable assurance or limited assurance engagement so here uh, for example in an assurance or in an assertion based engagement so if you could still remember in our uh, previous video lecture so when we say assertion based engagement uh, this is or the, the, the assurance engagement is done by the management or the responsible party. Okay, so here, how does the conclusion uh, will, will appear in the assurance report? Okay, so this is the example. Okay, so in our opinion, the responsible party's assertion that the internal control is effective in all material respect based on the criteria is fairly stated okay so here our subject matter is the internal control and this is our criteria and their uh, expression of opinion is that their internal control is effective so meaning they followed the criteria okay another what about if but still under the assertion based engagement um, they use uh, directly in terms of subject matter and the criteria so actually this is just the same as the first one but it was word worded directly okay if you could notice in the first um, opinion um, there are some uh, other words that were added but they mean this same thing okay in their opinion uh, the internal control is effective in all material respects based on XYZ criteria so actually this one is just the same with this okay just worded differently it, they just replaced it okay next how about for the direct reporting engagement so again when we say re direct reporting engagement this means that assurance engagement was done by the independent cpa or the practitioner okay so how does the, their opinion is worded in the assurance report so here for example if uh, the engagement is reasonable assurance okay so if you can still remember you can um uh, view the other video lecture where we mentioned about the reasonable assurance i mentioned this uh, in our previous video lecture okay so for the reasonable assurance basically the conclusion here is a positive form of conclusion so this is how it is worded Okay. So, in our opinion, the internal control is effective in all material respects based on XYZ criteria. So, this is uh, this type of uh, a conclusion is reasonable assurance, okay, positive form of uh, conclusion. Okay, so what about as uh, okay, um, uh, in addition, okay, so here, of course, um, the practitioner performed. The evidence gathering procedure okay following the the things which we have mentioned about um the sufficient appropriate evidence part okay what about in a limited assurance engagement so here uh under the limited assurance engagement the the expression of opinion here is in the negative form okay so what is or how does this negative form worded in the assurance report so this is how it's uh, written so based on our work in this report nothing has come to our attention that causes us to believe that internal control is not effective in all material respects based on XYZ criteria 
So, why does this uh, limited assurance a uh, negative form of expression considered as negative form because of this word or this phrase? Nothing has come to their attention. But actually, if you will compare this with that of the reasonable assurance, they mean the same thing. Okay, so in this case, um, the internal control is effective in all material respects based on the criteria. Here, the internal control is also effective, okay? Because there has nothing that come to their attention that causes them to believe that internal control is not effective, okay? So it's just worded negatively, but they mean the same thing. Okay, so that's how uh, the practitioner uh, write their assur uh, their um, conclusion in an assurance report. So again, either under the assurance engagement, which is a positive form, and under the limited assurance, which is in the negative form. So please take note of that. Okay, so again, uh, the aud uh, audit evidence gathering was also done in accordance with the standard so um, that form of expression can be the limited assurance okay that is proportional to the level of the practitioner's evidence gathering so okay so that's how this uh, two different uh, assurance engagement uh, is but uh, in, in the last part of this module we will also differentiate these two types of assurance engagement Okay, so what about the expression of the opinion? Okay, so here, what is unqualified conclusion? Okay, so basically when you say unqualified conclusion, this is exactly what we have, uh, what I have showed you previously. Okay, this is the example of the unqualified, meaning that the subject matter conforms with the criteria. The subject matter um, do not deviate with the criteria. So therefore, the auditor expresses an unqualified opinion or conclusion. This is the example of unqualified conclusion. Okay, so what about in the cases where the auditor cannot express unqualified conclusion what are the instances okay where when the, the the practitioner will express a different conclusion other than unqualified conclusion so these are the instances so here uh, based on the practitioner's judgment the effect of the matter that they have seen okay based on the evidence gathering is considered to be material meaning to say it has a great impact the deviation has a great impact on the subject matter okay so here the first is if there is limitation on the scope of the practitioner's work so in this case if there is limitation meaning to say the auditor cannot get the sufficient appropriate evidence that he needs to support for his conclusion so therefore, if that is the case, then uh, what type of uh, conclusion does the practitioner may express? So he can express either qualified or disclaimer of conclusion. Okay, when we say qualified, meaning to say um, uh, he can express this uh, conclusion as um there is a part of the subject matter which do not conform or which deviates from the criteria okay that's qualified so meaning the the subject matter is not uh, in conformance with the criteria in all material respects what about disclaimer of conclusion when we say disclaimer of conclusion in this case the auditor will not express any opinion because of the limitation of the scope he cannot get enough uh, sufficient and appropriate evidence to support his conclusion so there is no conclusion 
that is disclaimer of this of uh, conclusion so depending on the materiality or per pervasiveness what do we mean by per pervasiveness pervasiveness is how uh, or what is the amount of impact of that uh, deviation is on the subject matter so for example how many percent is that impact on the subject matter okay that's pervasiveness is okay or um in some cases the practitioner may even consider withdrawing from the engagement meaning to say he will not finish the engagement at all okay because of the limitation of the scope okay so these are the instances okay another um, the responsible party's assertion is not fairly stated in all material respects. So basically, um, ninety per or major majority of the subject matter is not in conformance with the criteria. So here, the subject matter information is materially misstated. So in this case, basically the uh, the practitioner will uh, conclude or express qualified or adverse i have already mentioned qualified okay so under the qualified expression um materially misstated but this is not that pervasive meaning that the amount is material but the impact is only 20 percent okay so minimum pervasiveness okay but what about adverse when you say adverse meaning to say in this case the 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 practitioner will say that the subject matter is materially misstated meaning majority of what the subject matter contains they are all mat uh, misstated okay so that is adverse conclusion so again depending on how material and pervasive the, the, mat the matter is okay so it the, the practitioner can either express qualified or adverse conclusion Okay, so next is uh, when it is discovered after the engagement that uh, the criteria are unsuitable. Okay, so in this case, the auditor just uh, or the practitioner just realized after accepting the, the engagement that the criteria are not suitable for the subject matter. So, uh, what will be the expression of the opinion? Either a qualified conclusion or Hi. adverse depending again on how material or pervasive the matter is okay next um when it is discovered after the engagement that uh, the criteria are unsuitable okay or the subject matter is not appropriate so qualified conclusion or he can also um express or do not express any opinion that's disclaimer of opinion Again, depending on how material or pervasive the matter is in other cases. Okay, so in some cases, again, the last resort of the practitioner, this will be the last option, withdrawing from the engagement. Okay, so those are for the different elements of assurance engagement. So please take note that the uh, different conclusion will also have a separate module or chapter. So, uh, there we will uh, explain further and thoroughly. So, that would be all for this um, topic. For this uh, video,